Lazy Architecto. My issue with AutoCAD is that it won't let me detach actual in some of my drawings. Aaron, I have three solutions for your extra problems. Hi, I'm the Lazy Architecto and welcome to a new video on AutoCAD issues and solutions series. Solution 1. If you can't detach an XREF in AutoCAD, it might be an XREF inside another XREF. XREF has multiple references. Let me explain this. XREFs can be nested within other XREFs. That is, you can attach an XREF that contains another XREF. Type XR to open XREF palette. If you try to detach these two XREFs, you can see Detach XREF grayed out. This is because these two XREFs are inside this other one. So to fix this, double click on the XREF. You can also open it from your AutoCAD ribbon. As you can see here, the options to detach these files now are available. So go ahead and select both files and detach them. Now you can save and close your drawing. Here on the main drawing, reload your external reference or XREF. And you can see that your issue can't detach XREF was solved. This was the common and simplest solution. So let's go ahead with a more complicated situation. Solution number two. If you still can't remove or purge XREF in AutoCAD because detach XREF grayed out, try this. Type frame on command line and press enter. Set it to 2 and press enter again. As you can see, there was a hidden XREF with a frame turned off. Now you can remove XREF and detach your external reference. From now on, if you have detaching XREF problems, Check for hidden extras in your main external reference or in the drawings inside. Solution 3. If you still are unable to detach XREF, you might have a block with the same name of your XREFs. Let's take a look at this example. If you try to remove or detach this external reference, the following error shows. No matching XREF names found. You can also have other errors such as XREF has multiple references not detached. This is because the XREF has been defined within a block in the drawing, probably coming in via copy paste action from another file. To solve this, find your block if you can and remove it. Make sure no blocks are present in model and paper space that contain the XREF. Then issue the purge command to remove the block definitions. The XREF should then detach via the XREF palette. But if problem persists, like with this drawing, it is because blocks still exist on your drawing. So go ahead and double click on XREF you want to detach. Press Ctrl C to copy XREF name. Type rename on your command line and press enter. Select block and paste XREF name pressing Ctrl V. Here, type any other name for your block. As you can see, this helped you remove unreferenced XREFs. 
Don't forget to give this video a like, share with your friends and click subscribe for less clicks and more done.